but now it's a national park so and the newest one and that the newest one in america so everybody's wanting to see what it's all about i reckon yep <laughs> Gail here, he's walking away, but I was uh, at this, what's it, Potts Mountain Overlook? Yeah. Potts Mountain Overlook right here. And if you look down here, that's down in the valley right there, that's Johns Creek, which is beautiful. It's pretty nice today. You can see the clouds in the distance just hanging. And I was talking to Gail this video when we coached football back here in the 80s uh me and gail my brother jeff we would was jim step on that too yeah and we we would all come up here because we'd have a early morning practice we'd get something to eat chicken or hot dogs or whatever yeah come up here and eat beautiful good times great times so this is a beautiful spot and good memories right here. As you can see, the trees are starting to change. Got a little red in here. Gold. Okay, so Gail and I are here at the Grand View at the New River Gorge National River. And uh, we're, we're both talking about how crazy it is that there's uh, this many people here. I've never been here in this many people. Yeah, it's really so, crowded the way it's usually like. But now it's a national park, so and the newest one and that the newest one in america so everybody's wanting to see what it's all about i reckon yep So, uh, Gail and I were just talking, I did a video of Dead Horse Point in Utah, and in that Dead Horse Point video, you can see this 
kind of similar horseshoe. Of course, it's all desert there, but this is amazing yeah. as well. Mm. We were at the Grand View Overlook, and now we're at uh, Turkey Spur Overlook, which is part of Grand View. It's just a beautiful spot. The other Grand View. Some major rock climb right here. Major overhangs.
that's a lot of steps. A lot of steps. <sighs> but the view up here is gonna be amazing. So from the river view side, we're going to head over here to the other side. You can still see, is that, that's still the new river, right, Gail? You can still see the new river, but. And how I would love to own a piece of that property down there right on the river. Where I'd spend my weekends. Mm -hmm. Fish every day. That's pretty amazing. There's another, another lookout right up this way. Turkey spur. Pretty neat. Pretty good feeling burn. <laughs> uh, a little bit. Well, now we're heading to the old, basically it's a ghost town of Thurman. Used to be a big uh, railroad station and coal mining depot because they had uh, basically like smokeless coal they could get out of there and <clears throat> but there's nothing left here there's five people but does there is like the old railroad station so pretty cool we're gonna check out Thurman West Virginia it's a ghost town in the east
So right here. Is what's left of Thurman. And Gail was telling me in the movie Mate One, mm -hmm. they filmed. Go ahead, Gail. Tell us yeah, about that. this was the 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 scene in movie uh, the movie Mate One. This is where the uh, Pinkerton Phelps hired guns, and Sid Hatfield and his deputies and the mayor of Mate One. I suppose they had the shootout. This is where they filmed the shootout for the movie Mate One. Cool. Really cool spot. So now the population here is five. Used to be a bustling town. And of course, they, it is. there is still an Amtrak station, which is down that way. We'll stop there in a minute. So this town was acquired by Captain Thurman, who they gave him 73 acres along the river here back in 1873 and Gail was telling an interesting story about Captain Thurman what how to get it Gail he he was he surveyed the the property all this area and that was his payment they gave him 73 acres as payment for him doing the work and he was a captain in the civil war as a confederate <clears throat> captain yeah so it says there the first loads of coal were shipped uh, in 1889 and then 1908 there was a major flood here that wiped out a lot of the the some of the town and the bridge the bridge to get over there uh, and then 1910 just think about this in 1910 it was ranked first in revenue receipts from the CNO uh, CNO main line it's amazing so more train revenue out of here than anywhere else in the country and now there's five people that live here so and now what happened in 1931 when the bank failed mm -hmm. that's when a lot of people started move, moving out yeah that was the height 1930 31 32 was the height of the population here was just under 400 right and then also the in 1958 the last steam locomotive came through so that uh that was another thing that left uh thurman kind of behind and then 1880 1984 the office railroad offices closed so uh pretty crazy then 1995 they reopened it and the national park service did because it's a historic place we'll go down here and look at the bank good picture Thurman rail rail yard in 19 I don't know if you can see that 1930s but I'll try to find a picture and post it National Bank of Thurman Gail was telling me that uh, Captain Thurman actually opened the bank. Yeah. So it's the Thurman National Bank. And then what is this stru structure called right here, Gail? It's, it's, right part, here? Of, it's part of a coal tipple. Okay. A processing plant. People call them processing plants today. I don't know what all they had different names over the year. We always call them tipples. Okay. Cool. Where they loaded the cars out. So right here is Thurman Town Hall. It's still, it's still got the old tracks in here. Mm -hmm. What they did, they what they call a spur line, they would bring off off the main track and they would bring it through here. 
mm -hmm. and and then go back onto the main track down there. And they would load. See if you could see up top. Yeah. The chutes it would load coal down in there. You say, well, how'd they get the coal up there? Well, they usually build the tipples right down from the mines. So the mines these are probably up on this side or up on that side over there. Mm -hmm. And they had belt lines that bring the coal off the mountains onto the belt line, and it would come right off into the coal cars. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah. This is right here beside this, what do they call it, a teeple? Teeple. Tipple. Tipple. Yeah. I, I, I would think maybe this was part of the washing process of the coal. It probably had a pump in there because you can see the mm -hmm. pipe down in there. Probably had a pump in there. Probably had water coming into this. Right. And the water, they take the water and force wash the coal. So it would be so dusty. Mm-hmm. Wow. Very cool, very cool. So, Thurman is a really, really cool town. We're going to walk across the uh, bridge right now. Yeah. Till the train comes. Gail and I have had a very good day. A little history, a little beautiful sights on the New River Gorge. So we're heading back to old Virginia. Gail, any last words? A uh, place where I've always wanted to come. Being from West Virginia, just never did make it up here. But it's a beautiful place, worth the drive, for sure. Absolutely. So. If you're in West Virginia, you need to check out Thurman and obviously need, which is part now of the National Park and because uh, it's on the New River Gorge. So you want to check out that. It's an awesome place, Grandview and all that. So <laughs> got to get over here. There's many more places to see some hikes that I'm going to take you on here in the near future. So stay tuned. Oh, and also guys, if, uh, if you like my videos, you can help me out. You can go to <laughs> patreon.com and search for the Frontiersman Travel Adventures. You can find me. I'll put a link in the description, but that really helps me 
either on my travels or buying a bottle of whiskey or whatever and then you can also buy t-shirts and i'll post the link in there too at teespring so i appreciate your support and you guys are why i do this Thank you. the longer i waited the more that i've tried all the years that I've wasted Trying to find it All that I go through For my peace of mind Let it all go Out the way Smoke in my eyes I can hear the wind chiming It's always been you in the back of my mind Early blue morning When everything's cold I see you running Covered in gold There's nothing else that Eases my soul I let it all go Out the window No smoke in my eyes I can hear the wind it's always been